Invisible Thief and welcome to episode 5 on my Let's Play on Crea or Crea or whatever it's actually called. In the last episode, uh, which I'm counting, which I'm not counting the uh, little farming video which I did, um, in, the la in that last episode, episode 4, I believe I did some exploring. Uh, that last, last episode was actually two years ago at this point, so I'm a bit rusty. I did learn by rewatching some of the uh, previous episodes that I can mine wall, which I mine and place wall, which I had forgotten by the time of the last episode. So that's not the best. Okay, sorry for that odd little bit of Oops. Odd little bit of get. I need to stop doing that. Odd little bit of cut. There was a dog barking. Um, huh, let me place down those chests. I forget what I was actually saying before I uh, do the cut. Um, which means that I completely forgot what I was doing. No, so don't know what the chest. What was in all of these chests? So that's great. I don't actually know how to do this, but I know that I have skills or talents uh, here, which I can, there we go, put down here as my little uh, uh, spell stuff. And I also have leveled up quite a bit and I can now get Double jump, which costs 2,000 of these, which uh, enables the ability to double jump, which will be very helpful for getting around the place. I'm also going to get expertise, because that seems like it could be a good thing. I'm gonna level that up. Um, I can also upgrade War Hunter, which makes it so I can then detect nearby iron ore as well as uh, just coal. Um, I'm not going to get anything from style just yet. So I think I'm going to leave it at that. And I leave. I can now use the iron I have gotten to make myself a nifty little... Ooh, mannequin. Sure successfully researched mannequin and stone masonry that's nice um but yeah style chamber yeah i'm i'm getting off track i didn't mean to do that here we go can use the bow and arrow might have a little bit to get used to things oh bother um can the double jump work yeah that's very good very good indeed gonna smack these oil slimes make sure that I can defeat them nice and oops very good oh oh if you press um, whatever the down thing is and move then you can do a little dodge roll that's nice I did not know that but I can make a grappler now um oof. oh I need to slime just take them out so then I don't die there we go, um, and I can craft this. Okay. Hmm. Get what these stuff do. Hmm. Can I not do anything with these? Oh, can it? There we go. Um, each step to balance if quality is gained. What is, what, what are you? Small alien cr creature. Ah, it shoots stuff. Hmm. Sinew. Hmm. Oh, bother. Oil slime. Alright, uh, let me see what these balance. Balance of qualities gained. Doubles quality gain. Entropy effect is temporarily inversed. Quality, quality, quality. Suppose quality vein. Quality. Balance, uh, balance qualities gain. I don't, 
Polish. There we go. Grappler. Sure. Complete. Now I have a level 5 Grappler. Oh, that's shiny. Alright. There we go. Which means that now put that... Oh, do I... How do I equip it? I feel like I had this problem before. How do I equip said grapple? Um, how do I want to equip it? it doesn't say how I can drop it. Oh, but it, I don't know how to how to equip it. That's so odd. It won't let me equip the grappler. All right, uh, there's also a map, which I can pull up here, which shows, oh, I'm at the right side of my world. Oh, so I can, here's the world, it loops. Ab abnormally high amounts of chaos. Hmm, so it seems around the middle it gets higher level. So I'm gonna go right and loop around here past whatever this area is, to try and find what that abnormally high amount of chaos is, and hopefully not die in the process. But there's no guarantee on that. Let me just quickly check if I can... Uh, ready tool Q? No, it's not right. It's so odd how... That's not working. That's really a shame because I wanted to use the grappling, but it's not... It's like not... Oh. Do we equip it in equipment? Doesn't seem like it. Yeah. Hmm. Oh, right. Those little uh, Torins are not very friendly. So let me quickly hop over here. Oh, there's a little low slime. I believe there's been some updates since I last played. That would make sense because it has been quite a while. Oh, this tiny slime didn't seem to be able to do much against me. I like that I can heal. I have a nice little heal spell. Top me up in case I get damaged. Or, you know, in case I commit in the middle of a battle. I am in a pinch. Okay, this bow. Uh, I'm not sure if it's the best right now, but it is a very basic bow. Oh, I'm on fire. Uh, there we go. And then it has a long cooldown, which makes sense. Because otherwise it would be a bit powerful. Snow foliage. Uh, Puricas. Hmm. Rocky out. Crop of stone. I, mm, I really want to equip this scrappler. And also the adventurer's uh, matok. It's not how... You know, Side must be equipped in a specific slot of the toolbar. Yeah, but it doesn't allow me to equip it. That's... Hmm. Don't like that because I want to be able to use the item that I got. Okay, that's a cave, not any sort of uh, useful thing. Alright, if I hop over here, I might mine some bamboo. Uh, just foliage. Looks like bamboo. Uh, oh, there's a little lizard thing there. I am being surrounded. Uh, yeah, a lot of bamboo and bamboo seed. Wouldn't that just be bamboo shoot? Hmm. Oh, I can go in here now. Dungeon checkpoint. Ah. A little dungeon. Interesting. I don't... Oh, okay. I was about to say I don't see any enemies. This is a very, very dangerous looking dungeon. Because there's like a little fire trap there, which is not friendly at all. And then, what is that? A uh, tenebras? I don't like tenebras, but brass. Oh, there's a silver key down there. Let me grab that sector key. What is that? A glow bat. Hmm. Interesting. Uh, the next explore thing I want is probably the light orb. Because I know that I'll probably be putting a lot of 
No, upgrade heal, because that's a, always a useful one. Generate. Ooh. The light orb will probably help with cave exploring and whatnot. Be kind of like uh, the shadow orb or some or light pet in Terraria. What I'll compare it to. This is an interesting dungeon. Not the most threatening right now. Cause but that's probably because all I've seen was oil slimes and not any sort of real big oh, there's the throne door. And the sector door. Ah, so I had to beat those. And then I can use my bow and try and even beat this enemy, which will shoot at me and jump. Right, so it seems to Oh, style core, glow ball, sticky glow ball. Ooh, that seems like it could be good. Let me take out the glow bats. Luckily, they don't seem to move very fast, but they are very small. Making them not easy to hit. Smack thing, a uh, glow ball. And what is that? Just, is it region powder? What, it, what are you? Can't mine you. Hmm. Interesting. Alright, well, there's another glow bat up here. We can try. Take out. My. Ooh, what is that? In combat. Unable to craft wall in combat. Yeah. Alright. So that's just low enough effect. Uh, glow ball and fur. Can probably make it over here thanks to my new double jump ability. That's very helpful, but I. Don't see any reason in coming over here, and I just took a load of vault damage. Let me regenerate that up. That's helpful. Uh, did I pick up a sector key? I must have. No. All right. Well, I must be missing something. Let me use my fireball ability. No, don't see anything there. Where could the sector key be? It has to be in this area. Hmm. Silver key. Used to open locked silver chests. Does it have anything to do with this plant? No. Oh, this lever. Of course, that makes sense. The little lever on the ground. That would make sense. Oh, there's a lot more enemies. Uh, quadrant, oil slime, tenebras. Right, let me scoot past here. Pull this switch. Switch. Because those are very obvious. Okay, this is a uh, level 3 oil slime. So you can take that out pretty easily. Uh, there doesn't appear to be any uh, useful things in that area. So let me go here. Oh, glow bat. Can it not go past the... Ooh. It doesn't appear like it can go through these platforms. Which I can use to my advantage to... Oh, I... That spell really doesn't do much. But my bat, the first attack of the bat, can take it out. There we go, critical hit. Let me try and attack this quadrin, which is a zappy sky squid thing. No, jellyfish. Octopus? One of those. Uh, let me kill this oil slime. Simple little enemy. Just make sure you don't hit by its projectiles or bite. Your arms talent has leveled up. Wow, can I get these stuff? Seem like it could be good. A uh, dash, uh, it's a spell, slam, sky sword. Strikes downward to bounce off enemies. Each consecutive bounce deals an additional 10% damage. Only usable midair. So that's kind of like um, in Hollow Knight where you can attack down on an enemy and kind of bounce on their head. That looks like there's a platform up there. Uh, snares the enemy from afar with an arrow for three seconds. Stun, knockback, berserk. I want Sky Sword. That sounds like it can be fun. And ensnare might be. Scales from equipped ranged weapon power. Power. Physical weapon power. Interesting. Okay. Uh, I should probably bit more be a bit more careful because there is an enemy here. Oh, ouch. Shoot and do that. Oh, they made a thing come up, come up from the ground. All right, let me equip Sky Sword um, there, or 
more hunter can go there. Can I? Yeah, that can be. That would be much easier. So now let me try and use use that. Nope. Uh, that I don't think that turned out well. I just ended up getting hit because there wasn't much of a roof for me to use to my advantage. Well, I do not have very much magic power of the sort of any sort. Ow! Laser does 15 damage. Time. I doubt there will be any ores nearby. Nope. Just a waste. Let me heal up. Back to 117. Back to the man. I don't know. The the double jump. I feel like it will be probably the best thing. I want to see if this is a trap. If this little pressure plate thing is a trap. Yeah, there's a dart trap. Ah, oh, that's great. Start traps. Just like a certain terraria, which everyone knows and likes, I am sure. The ranged weapon doesn't seem like it's the best at the moment compared to like just going in and smacking enemies besides, you know, the fact that you won't get hit or you have a less chance of getting hit. But, I mean, you can't exactly aim straight up, as you can see. There's like a cap to the... Oh, ow. Glow bat. Ooh, there's uh, little particles, which probably means it's charge up. 40 damage. Hmm. Here's another dark trap. You can actually see it in the wall. Interesting. Will it hurt the enemies? Uh, nope. It will not hurt the enemies. So I have to be careful with that, and I cannot use it to my advantage only to my disadvantage which is never something which I want let me heal up there we go close to full your style talent has leveled up because I was using um, I keep forgetting about the full dodge roll mechanic oh there's a lever in the box sector door has opened I, I like this how there's little um, dungeons in this game uh, this one has certainly been Interesting. Uh, the light orb will definitely help here. I mean, my character gives off a little bit of light, but it would, would have definitely helped to have a bit more. Uh, dungeon checkpoint. There we go. Now I have a checkpoint. Uh, let's see. Uh, they seem to be all level 3. There's a power source up there. Interesting. Ah, there's the next sector door. We go here and smack this crate. How arrows do? Actually, oh. Oh, can I craft any any arrows? Uh, ammo? No, that's not good. I only have three arrows left. Before I'm completely out. So I want to make those count to take out an enemy mech. There we go. And now I'm completely out of arrows. Let me switch uh, tab. Go. I don't know why I just have a shield here. Can I not? Oh, I can't um, equip the bat thing because it's already in the other one. All right, let me go here. There we go. So now I have the... So now I can block with right click and then smack with the bat. It should help me... Uh, defend against some enemies. If I just take out this oil slime. Oh, there's a. Did I stun it or something? Okay. Uh, I should be careful about this thing because it is not friendly. All right, let me. Oops, I that did not work out. Oh dear. Uh, let me take out this. This is going. This is a lot harder because I no longer have my my arrow. I suppose I have to going to beat the power source in order to, there we go, sector door has opened. It definitely seems to be getting a bit harder each time. I should probably make use of the dodge roll ability. Yeah, the glow bat, let me try shooting a fireball. That really isn't very effective. Oh, but I set it on fire, I think. I think that's what I did, uh, because it was taking a bit of damage and releasing some sparks. Um, let's see. How do I want to do this? We attack you. I didn't end up setting you on fire, which is a shame. 
me smack you, smack you, uh, block. There we go. Smack, smack, block, smack, smack. There we go. Just need to learn uh, how fast they attack. Let me actually heal up for picking a fight with the Tenebras. Try and maybe shoot one of the higher, the flying enemies to lure them away from the others. Smack, smack, block. Nope, smack, block, hello. There we go. Just take out the, the glow bat. And then I want to take out the quadrant. Try and do that. Nope, I missed. Try again. Oh, I don't want to hit the, the tenebrass. Actually, I could. All right, there we go. I've got, oh, I've got both of their attention. All right, well, in that case, um, let me try and take out the tenebrass first. Ow, that, I don't like that move. Uh, I'm being a bit surrounded. Oh, I'm exhausted. So, attacking uses up stamina. Oh, found a lost letter. Level up. Let me go to, run back and go to equipment. Uh, let me actually level up my intelligence to increase my magical power. Just so then I can use, like, the fireball to do a bit more damage and whatnot. Oh, I didn't pick up their items. All right, they don't have much health, the, the quadrant, but they are in the in the air. Sector door is open. Okay, so for, the, for that one, I have to defeat all the enemies. Oh, is this, is, is this the end? All okay, right, here's my reward. Nothing. Realm crystal. Nope, not the end. Just a new part. Ooh. Checkpoint. All right, already activated. This is a very interesting uh, dungeon. Didn't think I was gonna go here. I was gonna try and go to whatever, wherever that chaos place was. Uh, probably dying on my way there. Oh, there's a dart trap from the top. No, it's stone trap. All right, that's a large group of enemies. I do not want to mess with them very much um s magic and stuff seems to take stamina to cast it's very interesting Ooh, I, do, I do like that move let me try and s jump up and smack the quadrant there we go all right it would be this is this would be a lot easier if i had arrows to use all right so that seems to make like a little hissing sound before attacking yeah here, there, and oh my, this is a large group of enemies, uh, dodge roll, dodge roll away, dodge roll away, heal, there we go, and then try and, oops, I completely missed with that, trying to use the, uh, sword bounce ability, but that completely missed, um, I wonder if this is another, um, lever one, or if it's, um, another defeat all the enemies or it's a how how will i get to the next sector this is very interesting all right so you'd need the ledge grab ability to get through here as you can see from that or i don't know the double jump would you be able to double jump up here no so you'd need the ledge grab to in order to actually beat this part interesting oh i got a feather uh actually feather let me go back. No, craft. Uh, ammo. Mm -hmm. Uh, lumber. Can I make lumber? No, I don't have any wood on me. Must have put it away in the chest when I was dumping everything away. Which is not good. You should always keep wood on you in this game. That's what I have to... Alright, let me try and dodge roll. Does that work? Dodge roll. I mean, it looks cool. I don't know how well it actually works. Okay, so yeah, that was a defeat the enemies to get the sector open. All right, uh, style core global. I'm sure I will learn what those, oops, I just fell and took some damage. I'm sure I'll learn what those will do later. Oh, a whole bunch of loot. Ectoplasm, hide, and style core. Um, wood and silk. Ectoplasm and oil cloth. 
foil caught wood silk and arrow of soothing courage level three enchantment oh hmm i haven't gotten an enchantment before rock of miniature yesterday damage incre uh, increases damage by as hp gets lowered hmm interesting all right the dungeon is clearly not over so let me go and craft myself some lumber so then i can craft myself um ooh, if i had more more sinew then i could make a hunting bow which would be an upgrade but for now i will make some 25 wooden arrows and go into my inventory i should be able to equip them yeah equip that why can't i oh now i can equip the grapple Ooh, that's that's good i like i like the grapple just press g it's not the longest but i can use it to grapple up to higher places which is always good and i believe i can also use it to grapple on to enemies to drag them towards me get over here achievement that makes sense why i got that achievement oh i need to oh bother um let's see tab go i did not uh, i forgot to put the bat back on here there we go there we go this is much better got the bat got the arrow let me dodge the fire what is that lava yeah considering that oil slime got hurt in it i'm gonna assume it's lava because you know what else would be red and glowy and hurt you when you walk in it besides lava oh the sector door is open i'm gonna i don't know what that switch did go through here dungeon checkpoint Ooh, it's a bit dark this is where that uh light pet thing would come in handy light orb but i don't have that yet which is not nice Ooh, shell haste one proficiency all things which i could get in the future but not now oh no now to smack crates and try to not die from all of the enemies running around the place can i snipe that tin of brass yeah i did it very good ow but it can snipe right back you can also stand in lava trying to get over to me and just kill itself which is always always a good thing you have enemies just walking into the thing that will kill them the sector door has opened there we go heal up just to make sure that i don't die oh but what's up here secrets no oh trap ah that's a little trap room hmm very tricky me try and hop up here okay yeah you had to, to hop up here the way it's, uh ooh, that seems this seems to be around the oh, okay i dodged that this seems to be around the end of the little of this little section of the dungeon which seem which is always good i wonder how long this dungeon is because it does seem to be uh lasting quite a while now um it's not a particularly hard dungeon my character is level five and all of these seem to be level three so it's not exactly hard but you know ow fire trap did i open the sector no ah no that's the fire trap how do i do this where's the how do i get past is there a lever that i missed maybe or can i just 
Can I just open it? Yeah, I can just open it. Oh, I, they must have dropped a key. No, this this place keeps going. This dungeon is massive. Oh, your explore talent went up. Ooh. Pressing escape. Uh, there we go. Stamina boost. I'm gonna increase maximum stamina buff by four. That would be good. Um, cartography. I'm gonna increase map vision by ten meters. Uh, oh. Yeah, I want to save up for the light orb, so I'm not gonna be getting anything. Oh, I ran out of... I ran out of the arrows again. So, which means that I have to run in and smack enemies with the bat and try not to die a horrible, horrible death. But, you know, no guarantees because the ten of brass with their really, really strong attacks not being nice. What is that? Hello? Can I smack it? Interesting. Very interesting. Anyway, I have to smack these enemies because they are quite powerful. And okay, that's just a little trap area. Oh no 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 no! Flee 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 flee! No, I couldn't get down. And now I'm back here. Chaotic energy has been dispersed. Does that just mean that on my map it's no longer there? No, it's still there. Hmm. Okay. That's interesting. I don't know how long I've been recording for. I just realized that. Um, and I don't really have a way of... Actually, I can see. I've been recording for 33 minutes. It does not feel like it's been that long. Although that dungeon was quite long. Alright, where... In these chests is my wood. Where did I put it? Where did the year it is? Lumber. Give me that. Need it. So then I can make things. So then I can survive. I don't know what I. Did I just put random stuff in these chests or did I have some sort of organization? I don't know. But for this last little bit of the episode, I made some wood walls. Put it there. And then if I, if I equip it, then I can shift click. How do I place down wooden wall? Do, oh, did I not put it in my inventory? No, I that that would have been a good idea to, uh, to do. So I can shift click and place it on the background. I'll need to dig away that first. There we go. Dig away the back wall of dirt. Yeah, and up there. Then I can just place down. Oops. Cancelled. I can place down the wood wall by shift clicking. And all of a sudden, my house looks a lot better, but also, I didn't make enough wood wall. And I'm not entirely sure how to make it. Uh, wood wall, wood wall, wood wall. Blocks, uh, wood wall. There we go. Let me make, um, I, I only need eight. Uh, maybe, maybe a bit more. There we go. So now I can place the wood wall. This is a nice break from, oops. This is a nice break from the nightmare that was that dungeon. There we go. And there we go. My house now has a back wall. And also I made it so um, items like torches now are snapped to the grid um, instead of just being like wherever you could place it. So like that one's is not perfectly on the grid. So now I can make it so it is on the grid, which will make it look a not a, a lot nicer. If I actually made this symmetrical, did I? Can I pick those up? Hello? Or are you just gonna stay on the floor? Go. I can then grab that. Can I not? Oh, 
torches. Oh, my inventory is full. Right, 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 right. There we go. Let's put that dirt there. Grab up the torches. And this is where I am going to be leaving this episode. Uh, hopefully in the next episode I'll be able to get a light orb. And maybe see what that... Um, see what that... Uh, abnormally high amount of chaos is. I doubt I'll be able to do it soon because it's in a level 25 to 29 area and the farthest and I'm not that high of level I'm only level 5 with basic basic stuff but one day I might be able to go there and see what in the world that actually is. But this is all I have time for in this episode. So thanks for watching. Leave a like if you enjoyed. And I'll see you on the next episode. Three, two, one.